Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the final footies Sunday in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. I want to talk about the huge Icon Moments SBC that could be coming today if the leaks are continuing to be true. And also upgrade packs, right? One last chance to pack all of these insane cards. Multiple 99s, of course. The Path to Glories, the Summer Stars, the high-rated team of the years and team of the seasons. Last chance to pack those over the next few days with upgrade packs that should be dropping today as well. I want to talk about the content yesterday, which was nice. It was cool, right? We love a good showdown SBC. And, of course, how the weekend league prices are falling off, especially for those League One items. But the big talk of the town today, again, is going to be, will EA Sports release an Icon Moments SBC for R9? Now, it was leaked, it was talked about earlier this week that an R9 Moments SBC is coming. His price is down 7.9 million coins on the market right now for this card after he was upwards of 10 million coins. I think a lot of people are panic selling this because they just don't see how an SBC could be more than like 5 mil for this 97 R9 card. And I agree, right? I think that if R9 comes out today, I know that right now in this game, fodder is still up a little bit. Fodder dropped a lot yesterday. Uh, we'll talk about that. Fodder dropped a decent amount with, you know, the messy SBC again being out, but no new big time SBCs yesterday requiring more cards on the higher tier end of things. Um, you know, Conte, you can tell by the prices that some of these SBCs that have been out in the game dropped off. Conte was 300,000 coins plus. He is now down to 270, 270k to do the Conte SBC on the market. Renato Sanchez, I believe, is uh, he's dropped a lot as well. 212,000 coins for this item. He was high 200s um, earlier on Saturday, dropped off into the Sunday morning. So I think that, yes, Fodder is still up a little bit, but I think that if an R9 Moments SBC to, does drop today, and I think I think EA does it today, I do think that they drop this SBC today, and it's probably going to look insane. Of course, we have a Pele SBC um, that is 29 squads. 29 squads for a 4 million coin, 99 rated Pele. They, of course, know that R9 Moments is like one of the most elite, one of the most extinct. Uh, just sought after icons on this game. 29 squads for Pele. I mean, I would expect to see 30 plus today for R9. I don't see a FIFA SBC for this R9 moments card that is going to be cheaper than Pele because right now on the market or on an SBC, Pele is 3.58 mil. I think that if, unless they add icon requirements, which I would find extremely unlikely that they would wait for the very last Icon Moments player SBC of the year to actually require icons, especially since they just came out with 91 rated SBC requirements for Messi. I would expect to see 91 rated squads, 90 rated squads, the whole gamut of those high tier ones. But I really would be surprised if they dropped an icon requirement. But of course, I have to shout that because it's still potential, right? There's still potential for that. So I think that if there is an R9 SBC coming uh, coming today, it's probably going to be 30, 35 squads in total. It's going to run you four to five million coins is what I think that it might be today on this game. We will have to see what happens, but it seems like that SBC is coming. And to be honest, if you're planning to do that R9 SBC, you've been waiting for so long, then maybe you go ahead and do it. But with all the other insane cards that are out right now, I know so many people specifically that have said, yo, recently when there weren't that many footies SBCs to do, I did Vieira, I did Ronaldinho, or I did Maradona, and now I'm wishing that I didn't because of course we have the Renato Sanchez, we have the Tiago Mendes, the new Nani SBC, the Gignac SBC, Big Mac Gignac, my guy, right? We've got the Conte 99 SBC, we've had Sissoko. So there's just a lot of other content and other player SBCs that are out right now. That I think a lot of people are saying they wish they would have done those instead of, um, I guess, doing those Icon Moments SBC. So really today, if you're wanting to do R9, I mean, there's not really a striker like R9 that you could get from these SBCs right now at the moment. I mean, there's just a lot of midfielders that are in here, in my opinion. So I definitely understand doing an R9 SBC. That would be crazy. Have Moments R9, an extinct 15 mil card for most of the year when he's been in packs as an SBC. So I know that that does not apply to all of you, but of course, that's a big talking point about today. Now let's talk about upgrade packs as well. Upgrade packs in this game, right? So what we've known for the last 
couple weeks is that week one of a new batch is always the better set of upgrade packs. This last week we had 81 plus packs. They were nice, right? Of course, only requiring seven rares. Now rares were expensive. So those 81 plus packs, they kind of fell behind in hype. They kind of fell behind the 87 times 10 and even the 88 plus player pick. But I really hope that they re-release that 81 plus again because what's been happening in the second week of these batches for batch one and batch two, the upgrade packs in the second week have been awful, right? It's been an 82 plus um, and it's required like an 81 rated squad or it's just been something that is, is not good value. So right now we have got rare golds on this market that have gotten cheap. They've gotten pretty cheap. I think they're down like 900 coins a pop for some of these cards. Now I've got actually about 200,000 plus coins in my unassigned of cards that I have bought. I haven't bought a couple of these cards. I'm seeing some names on here that I have not actually purchased myself to be in my unassigned. So I'm buying a couple of these, right? I'm gonna stack them in my unassigned and I am full sending upgrade packs this week because for me, this is a big last week of doing upgrade packs and submitting coins, trying to pack one of these 99 rated summer stars or path to glory items. So that's why you seeing that's why you see me submitting a lot of coins into this. But if there are if there are 81 plus player picks that come out or just some sort of player pick or upgrade pack that requires rares with no, I guess, minimum squad rating, seriously watch out for these rare golds because I do definitely think that they could go up higher. I think they're really cheap right now just because most of the SBCs we've had recently have not been requiring these low tier golds, right? They've just been requiring 81s, 82s, 83s. So you have these rare golds that are 75, 76, 77, maybe even 78 rated that are just getting really cheap. And I think that is something that could change today depending upon what upgrade pack they do release. So I would be very careful and watching out for some of those. Again, my honest sign is chuck full of these cards at the moment because I'm trying to full send most, if not all of my coins this week into this game because it's going to be one of the last weeks of this game that I play personally and that a lot of you guys are interested in this game as well unless of course EA bring out some FIFA 22 related objectives that we can attain through FIFA 21. So that's one thing that i would be watching out for today is maybe stacking up on some rare golds, maybe some non-rare golds if you need to on open bid, stuff like that. Those prices went up a little bit yesterday, but they're down again today. And that's kind of how all fodder was yesterday, except for 81s, right? Of course, we had a two, uh, a two SBC set released yesterday with the Jinyak and the Nani, which is basically, it shows here on the, on the front screen, sick dynamic image for Nani, right? The next showdown is MLS All-Stars versus La Liga, sorry, Liga MX All-Stars, which takes place on the 25th of August, which is this coming Wednesday. One player from each team has received a showdown item. The winning, uh, the player from the winning team will receive a plus two overall stat boost. So if the Liga MX All-Stars win, Giniac will go to a 97. Nani will go to a 97 if the MLS All-Stars win. So that's going to be a cool game that I'll be probably watching closely later on this week. I'm going to keep an eye on that one for sure. That'll be awesome to watch. But now we have some FIFA-related content along with this as well. Nani is a very, 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 very popular super sub in this game. And both of these SBCs that they released yesterday were really, really cheap. 81 rated squads, I believe, for both of these, like 40,000 coins for either of them. Five star, five star on this Nani. I think most people are doing him. You take a look at the footprint card. It's got 2,800 upvotes, which is a big dub. And you can see the index 81 went from 460 points all the way to 650 uh, right after content yesterday. Some of the low tier fodder spiked again because I believe this SBC might have a high chemistry um, requirement. 82s went up a decent amount as well. Yeah, 81 rated, 75 chemistry. So that's going to make some of those maybe center backs, maybe right backs, and just good, good leagues, good linking 81s, 82s, and 83s really spike up with those chemistry needs that you need as a part of this Nani SBC, right? If you pack a cheeky Kalo Navas, you can put it into the Nani SBC, right? <laughs> the um, the memes continue with that. So that's a GG, but Nani and Jinyak is a dope, dope combination right there. And again, just to kind of shout out that some of that high tier fodder is dropping off as well as people are continuing to complete cards like this Messi. Let me take a look at the front page again and show you how much this Messi has actually dropped off. He's back down under 1.4 mil. This guy's SBC was 1.7 million coins earlier yesterday, 1.7 mil, and then boom, now back down to 1.3 with fodder really dropping off in that mid to low tier range, but even some of the high tier range as well. 
some of the high tier range cards, like some of these higher tier tots have definitely uh, kind of gone back down a little bit. And that's kind of how the general market is trending. Of course, a lot of your League One specials are down as well. Yesterday on Saturday, Ben Yedder, 90K. He's down to 70. Paredes was also in the mid to high 80s. He is 73,000 coins. Marquinhos, which was another very popular card that I traded with this weekend, made a bunch of coins off of him. He's back down to 60,000 coins after being in the 80s. 80,000 coins, 83K, 83,000 coins now down to 59,000 coins for Marquinhos. So probably these, these League One cards are going to continue to drop off. Some of the high tier ones, um, like Verratti really hasn't moved that much, right? You take a look at Tots and Bappe. He's down a little bit. Tots, Neymar, down a little bit, but not much. Some of those guys might hold their prices just a little bit better because some people have also said, you know what, screw it. I'm not selling my end game team anymore. And they're basically just not selling cards as a, that are a part of their team because they're just done, right? They've made their squad. It's got those cards they want in it, and they're done for the year. And they're enjoying that squad and their FIFA Ultimate Team. So that's another aspect of the market. But again, you see a lot of these items that we just knew were going to drop off in price because of those specific weekendly requirements really come down in price and again that is just some of your league one special cards i would expect more of that today probably more selling if there is an r9 moments sbc today people are going to start crafting that right with all the cards that are in packs if we get good upgrade packs today uh it's definitely going to be a really good week to grind the upgrade packs since the rare golds are so cheap and that's one thing i'm really got my fingers crossed for today is hopefully um, a really nice upgrade pack because I think with a really nice upgrade pack that sets us up for just good crafting for Renato if you haven't done him, Conte if you haven't, 88 plus player picks, 87 times 10s, footies player picks, and what uh, whatever else SBCs we see come out later on this week. I mean, I forget what day that Sissoko came out last week, but it wasn't, it was either Sunday or Monday that we had that Musa Sissoko close call. SBC. So I would seriously watch out for another one of those. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. We technically did have another Icon Moments player pick released, the 92 Plus. They released the same SBC for like the past three or four weeks now, man. Not a fan. Not a fan of this one. We need something else. Uh, also, some kits as well. Ooh, those kits are actually kind of fire. I might have to get that one involved. But I still have to do this 91 times 5 at some point later on this week. So. I've got some upgrade packs to craft. I've got Renato and Akante to craft as well. So I hope today that the upgrade SBCs are great, that they are good value, and that rares go up in price because that means that I bought rares at a way better price than what they would be later on this week. So watch out for those items, of course, today on the market to make a jump in price if the upgrade SBCs are good. But those are the two main things we're really looking at today is the R9 Moments SBC, the upgrade packs, I don't know what they're doing with preview packs in the store. I think today there weren't any more previews either, man. Is that true? Let me check through the store really quick. Of course, going in through foot draft, you guys know this. Um, I'm pretty sure there weren't any preview packs yesterday again, which is crazy. Just except for your, your normal um, 7.5, 5K and your bronze and silver packs. So a little bit surprising that no preview packs are dropping right now. But for whatever reason, EA just is not supplying the fodder through that preview pack method. And uh, I, come on, EA, you've kind of given th these preview packs, given them to us for the past like two months. Now you're taking them away. It's kind of like, all right, man, you're taking away our free packs. So we'll see if they put them back in. But um, again, that just makes me think that they're more so going to be involved in FIFA 22 because I'm sure EA sees the engagement with those packs. They know that so many people are opening them um, and that more people are going to be you know, uh, getting used to them and potentially spending FIFA points on them at the start of FIFA 22. So that's a whole other conversation again for a little bit down the road as we get closer to 22. A lot of 22 content are going to be coming out soon. So we'll be talking about that in the next couple of days. Uh, you're going to see 22 videos basically from the start of September, even a little bit before that. You're going to start to see from me, especially once footies is over, we're really going to start to transition into that 22 content. So that is my plan, so be on the lookout for that going forward. But today, it's all about R9 and those potential upgrade packs and whatever else footies content-wise they decide to drop on us today. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.